Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Party 2, and we're on turn 6, and so far nothing much has happened. Um, I'm getting close to the star, the opponents got ran over by the train, and that's about it. I've got- oh, I also got a uh, hidden block. Oh great, Luigi got doubles, which means he gets 10 coins. It's our first doubles of the project, and it's a really stupid feature, it's ridiculous. Oh my. Okay, good, that's an item space. I was thinking you'd get another happening space. We've got a Bowser bomb. That could be really deadly, especially since he's right next to me. But it might be interesting to show off. The last part is talking about bowl over. Uh, instead of the first game where you bowl your opponents down for each one you kill, you get five points. In this one, basically, you just, uh, you have to pull your opponents down in two shots, and if you get all three of them, you win. If you if you don't, then you lose, and the other three players win. But if, uh, you can knock down the standard pins and get extra coins. Awesome! Okay, let's get the A button ready. I only got 21 coins. Yeah, that's a lot of them. Cutting it, I'm pressing the button. He's almost in front of me! No! Warpla! No. <laughs> I was just expecting. Like, that's, if I was playing Mario Party 1, that would have happened. I guarantee you, that would have happened if I was playing Mario Party 1. A warp block would have came up and warped me somewhere else. I hate that freaking warp block. It's the worst thing in the game, and uh oh. People are coming up on that star. It's not good. That's no good. It's your body! Now I'm really glad he didn't get a Bowser Bomb, because I would have just lost all my coins. Like, no question. You have to get, like, triple ones to miss me. Okay, Ouija's on our team. Okay, Toad Bandstand. This is a lot like Mario Bandstand from the first game, but there's a lot of things changed. First of all, it's a two-player, two and, uh... You know, it's Toad Bandstand, not Mario Bandstand. Toad Bandstand! Basically, you just play a... Toad will give you a song to play, and you do it by pressing... Uh, press A. I probably should have checked that. Let me check that. I'm pretty sure it's A, though. Okay, I can't pause. I hate that. So one player's the flute, one's the drums. Yeah, there we go. Doing good. This is a pretty fun mini game. Pretty standard as well. Finish. <laughs> I prefer I've been on someone else's team because now Luigi's getting more coins and he's coming up on the star. Yow! Stay in last. Don't give it to him. Ooh. Okay, that's not the best spot, but I can live with it. See, I told it basically just he's got the cowboy hat and cowboy. The, the cowboy hat and the guitar. And how when, like, when he bow, the opposite gym comes up, he's like, he's going like, strong really fast. Yeah, Luigi. Stupid. See, back to my discussion on Majora's Mask. Uh, I've not been doing, again, I've not been doing the best. Uh, and it's very weird playing on a GameCube controller, especially when I didn't realize that X, Y, and Z substitute for- Oh, DK! Meanie! Whatever, we're coming up on the star now. Yes, you did hit someone. Me. Okay, I don't get why computers go that way. Or, no, wait. 
DK, you are so stupid. Do you realize how stupid that was? He just wasted his skeleton key. Watch, steel star, okay. Or star steel. <laughs> Bowser ran. So that's what happens if you get something with yellow text. Nothing happens, really. And it's hilarious in Mario Party 3 when that happens. It's like the most lols thing ever. Like he, instead of like floating up like he does in the first game, he just like runs away. It's hilarious. He's stalking you, Yoshi. He's gonna get you. Why do you keep landing on red spaces? It's just you, okay. I hate this mini game. Oh my god, this mini game is so bad. Please, 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 please. Okay, good. This mini game, it's not like you can barely argue with this. It's just terribly made. It's freaking awful. Wait, how did she miss this? A. I mean, like, um, in terms of entertainment, it's not that bad. But in terms of design, it is so bad. So you have to hit these targets, one player steers and one player shoots missiles. I have the missiles right now. But the computers can tell where the targets are, and the humans can't. So if you're- Jeez. So, like, the humans- it's a, If you're the driver, it's like impossible to hit the-, the tar, It's impossible, because the computers- will know where the target is and you won't, which is just really stupid. I'm not playing very well right now. Okay, DK. Oh my god, don't tell me this is gonna happen. Like, if it wasn't for that, if the computers didn't know where they are, or you had some kind of radar, it would be a great minigame. But no, it's just freaking awful. It's like ridiculously stupid. I just realized that I kept my timer on from the last video. Jeez. Okay, Maxi lasts some coins. Aw, you could have made this more exciting. But whatever, that's a good thing. See, I'm Joyce Mask, uh. God. Yeah, it's been really fun. And this is Bowser Big Blast, which isn't fun. It's freaking dumb. It's luck based. Basically, you pick a lever and you press it down, and you don't want to pick the one that explodes Bowser. Like, you take turns pulling the lever, and then, uh, whoever, uh, whoever pulls the wrong one loses. Basically, the last person to pull a bad lever is the winner. Uh-oh. Okay, which one should I go with? I'll go with silver. Even though that's the worst Sonic character ever, um, it's still reliable to me. And it was. Good. Fail. Miss. Mius! 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 Oh god. Uh oh. I don't think- oh, Red didn't get picked last time- Red was a detonator last time, so it's gonna beat it this time. That can- that- it, it's random, like, it can be that, uh, it can do whatever. It, it will- it'll be completely random. Uh-oh. See, Majora's Mask, it's been really fun, uh, puzzles are interesting, the characters are interesting. Okay, finally. Uh, I like how in this game, like, the animations are a lot better. Like, the characters don't just stand still, they actually, 
um, are well animated and do a lot of quirky things. And yes, Luigi, you get third, and that's awesome because third is the stupidest thing ever. Okay, so green. Phew, that was too close. Uh oh. So yeah, uh, I don't think it's like really fantastic, but it's still good. It might actually be better than like Phantom Hourglass or Wind Waker, which are both really good. Phantom Hourglass, I really love that game. Wind Waker, I also like that game, but I don't know, not as much as some others. It, uh, really, I've only played four Zelda games legit, like Phantom Hourglass, uh, what's the game? Uh, Opening Time, Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, and like, I wish there was a red star in this game because I was winning it. And I, those are the only four games I've really legitly played through and won them. I mean, I played Link's Awakening when I was really young. I played, I played, played Majora's Mask, and I played Four Swords Adventures, but I've never beaten any of those games yet. And I don't own Link's Awakening anymore. So recently, I've been trying to play, or I'm going to try to play a lot, a lot more than. Oh, I'm, I'm the quicksand guy. I didn't realize that. I was wondering, like, who am I? Just basically, when you're the one player, go for the coin bags. Make sure no one goes near them. If there are no coin bags on the field, then just go for whatever. Just get the largest place, the place with the largest amount of coins, and make sure no one goes near that. Wow, Luigi got a lot! Ridiculous. I guess I just was. I guess uh, I was locked. Like all the coins I wasn't going for, he got or something. I don't know. Mm, I'm going for the star. Where is the star? It's up there. Okay. I'm probably not gonna get this, but it would be nice to. Always be nice to get a star. Uh oh. It's boot mission time. Ugh, I don't know how, like, the guy only stole, like, 10 coins that one time in Pirate Land. I don't know, like, how that was just, like, ridiculous how. how. I somehow press the button enough to get 10 coins. Ho ho! Okay, so... There's a decent chance I'd get it, but... I'm happy. So happy! What turns on? Ah ha ha! So yeah, like, I've been playing with, uh, playing Majora's Mask, um, I'm gonna try to play Four Swords, but I don't own that game. I played it with some of my friends, like, you know, how it's supposed to be played, being all co-op and such. But I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna try to play Spirit Tracks, because my brother has that. Uh, I'm gonna get Link to the Past for the Virtual Console, and I might get Link's Awakening for the, uh, the eShop if I, once I get 3DS. See, here's a new minigame, Suction Away. Basically, there's just a, uh, a Bowser statue and you have to destroy it. Um, it's a pretty interesting minigame. Um, you can kick, jump, or you can kick, punch, and jump, and drop hand and such. But the only way to really get on top of the statue, at least the larger ones, because there's like multiple sizes, is to uh, get on top of your opponent and get on top. It's not really worth that much time spent to get on top of the statue. To uh, ground pound on it, but if you're doing a short one, it might be a good idea to do that. But I just like to do short jumps and kicks, and that's that might uh, you might just want to punch, but I like to do 
short, short jumps and kicks. Because you have to be in the air to do a uh, jump. Stop being on my team, Luigi. I want Yoshi on my team. Okay, so turn around. Turn Okay, stop after this one. Okay, that's fair. I got one too. He's just like copying me. He's getting, he got stars and now he has a ton of coins. He actually has a coin star, which is annoying me. And like, he, he's basically copying me. And what's annoying is now everyone can steal a star. And since Boo is so common in this map, there's two of him. It's gonna be a little difficult. Boo keep getting item games with Boo Bells in them! Starbucks? So yeah. Um, I'm probably not ever gonna play Zelda 1 or 2 because, like, Zelda 1, I probably suck at it. Like, just ridiculously hidden junk, it's just stupid. And Zelda 2, I would probably wouldn't like the platform style. You would go for a warp lock. Beep boop! The original Four Swords, that's also for the East Shop. I'm probably gonna get that. Okay, here's Toad in the box. Basically, um, you have to spin this die and get Toad. It's not luck, sort of. Um, because you can hit, you, you, like, you can time it, especially in the early ones. But, like, there, you have to hit five of them. And the last one is basically impossible to, uh, like, time it. But, like, it is possible, I'm pretty sure. Just really, really difficult. I see you can time it like that. And if you get any of the other ones, they hit you. Yeah. So it's a pretty fun mini game. It's just that, like, the last one is basically impossible to get. It doesn't... The second to last one is kind of difficult, too. But, like, uh... That, that one's definitely able to be timed. This one is just... Like, look at that. That one you just have to get lucky on, which is annoying. And like that. Like, they just somehow get it on the first freaking try. I'm not even sure I'm gonna leave for the coin star now. I mean, minigame star. Because, like, Luigi's been winning a lot of minigames, and he's doing really good at everything. And DK's doing pretty good. Oh, yeah, yes. Okay, I'll see you guys in the next part where uh, we continue this board. Ciao.